How's it going YouTube? It's me, the cool loser. And today's video is going to be on the Xbox Elite wireless controller. Now this is not your regular Xbox controller that you get with your Xbox One. As you can see, this is what it looks like. It's a very good form factor. Now your Xbox does not come with this. You have to buy this separately. I got this at Best Buy. Just by maneuvering the box, you can feel how much weight this has already. It's like a solid, you know, feel to it. And we can see that you can customize your own experience, optimize for any gaming, still lift off. And look at it, we get a little pouch. Maybe some of you guys aren't gonna like that. It's a little bit heavy. And just this thing itself is also has a little good weight to it. And I say this because I unboxed a lot of things. Obviously, Microsoft went out and made some good, good quality for what you're gonna pay for this thing. We got braided cables here that feel really good. It looks like a long cord. I think it's like around eight to 10 feet of a cord. So you don't have to have extensions. Just bring it all the way out. As we can see, the cable has a black and green accent to it. Nice, I like that. So it's a micro USB. You also get two AA batteries from Duracell. Underneath here, we get the booklet, the start guide, and that's pretty much it. Now let's unzip this. Ooh, that feels good when you unzip. Nice little zipper there. And there we go. Look at that controller. Wow, that feels so much better. These are actually metal little clips. And as you can see, you can just take them off and on. They're exit triggers, so when you're playing games, you can press them here. You could also reroute these to be one of these top ones. And here we have other little joystick dongles that we could stick to our controller. We have different sizes, this one's a lot bigger as you can see. There's a normal D-pad there, and these are for the paddles on the back of the controller to stick back in. A closer look to the controller, it even sounds and feels better than my Xbox One regular controller. We got two different settings for different presets, normal buttons there, and you can see here that the buttons are no longer in the blue, yellow, red, and green. We get a silver lining with black, and then a green button for an Xbox colorization. Micro USB. And the triggers, there's motors, remember? So when you're shooting, you're playing racing games, if a tire hits it, you're gonna feel like tire, the front tire hit the bumper. It gives it a better experience when you're playing games with those type of motors inside of it. In the back here, we have a headset plug-in, 3.5 millimeter, and the regular ones, if you have just a normal headset that came with your controller. I wish more Xbox One controllers came with this. And just feeling this out, this has a rubber feel to it. So it's definitely feeling a lot better than the last one because it's more grippier. And you got little triggers there. When you press that, you can see, press that much, or go all the way. You can see how quieter it is. That's because it goes, it sinks down a lot further and this will go a lot less. So that's the bottoming out. In case you don't have to pull all the way down, you can really max it out faster. And now let's take out the battery compartment. This is where we'll stick it in. So we'll do that here in just a little bit. Now we have P1 through P4 shifters. Well, they're like paddles. You'll be able to program them so you can have extra shortcuts. Or maybe you don't want them. You just pull up and they detach just like that. That's how simple it is. And that's how simple it is to put back in. You can see the little green button right there. That's what's being pressed by the paddles. Not just the paddles come off, but this top comes off. The top just literally just pop right off and you can switch them with maybe the bigger adapter here. And it's sticking out a lot more. Maybe you like them a lot taller. It is a weirder feeling for me, but it might be easier for other people. And to pull off the next one, maybe this little knob. And they click, they basically just fall in, but you can see this is a round knob, but it's a very simple process, just lift right out of it. You can feel the magnet, and it just like sucks it in. And I'm moving around with it. I could be going crazy gaming, and it doesn't want to fall out. It's literally, you have to pull it up. And I can still pick up the controller with the magnet, so it's a pretty strong magnet, as you can see here. They're not gonna be falling out when you're playing. Easy switch, easy switch. Put that back, like that, picks it up. As you can see, it's strong enough to keep it on the controller. And lastly, we have the D-pad here. That's how it looks like underneath it. And we just lift it off, same concept, step back in and you're good to go. You can feel the magnet suck. I'll probably just toss it on there and it'll, it'll go in as you can see there. And then you'll fit this back on and it goes in. And here you can see regular size, it's medium with the round, button and then there's a taller one same as this little small one but just a bigger taller toggle you can mix and match you don't want to use these 
Just pull them out. You can hear that they're metal and just stick them inside of their little cubbies there. Like so. Before I power it on. All right, so let me hold this controller. I've been using this for around two years. You can hear the difference. All right, and this is the, the back of the Xbox One. And then just going back to this one, the toggles here, they just feel so much better. I think they quieted down on the buttons too. A little bit not as high pitchy on the clicks. Holding it next to each other, I can feel the weight to this. This is without the batteries already. Inside, heavier, hefty feel to it. And this feels a lot lighter. And this is a lot heavier. So yes, they did use different type of materials inside of it. They definitely improved with the clickings. It doesn't sound all as high-pitched, annoying clicks on it now. Side by side, they're not much of a difference. But when you feel them, it just feels definitely different. I like the little rubber grips to it back here. I can feel my hands laying on this. Of course, I'm going to be playing around and feeling them out. So let me hit the power. So we get the glow of the Xbox there. But there you guys have it. This is my unboxing of the Elite Controller. I'm going to go more into details of what I think if it's worth it for you to buy. Because this is $150. And I'm making this jump because I'm doing PC gaming. So I can use this controller on my PC and on my Xbox. If you have the cord and app to run on an Android phone, you can do that as well. I think if you're a gamer, this is the route that you would want to go. Not saying that this is what you need. If you want to get heavier and more serious into your gaming, you can use this for your Xbox or your PC. I'll most likely report back on another video on what the full review is going to be on this. With a little video tutorial of me using it and the differences and whatnot. So um, if you can't wait for it, or maybe if I don't end up doing it, there's a lot of videos out there. So definitely go educate yourself with other great videos. Look at that. You can hear me setting it on the table of, of all the rubber feel to it. And compared to this controller, it's more of a you know plastic hit versus rubber. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Later.